Welcome back to another car review. Um, I got something real special um, in front of us today. Someone that actually got me out of bed earlier this morning. Uh, we got Adam in front of me. So, um, Adam, I love the car, man. Um, what is she? Or Thank he? you. Uh, <laughs> this is my 1994 Honda Civic DX with a B16 swap. Oh, yeah, man. What B16's in it? Uh, B16A from uh, SIR CRX oh, with a EM1 Trans. Very cool, man. And how long have you had the car now? I uh, had the car about six years. Uh, single cam for about five years. Swapped to B-Series just this last year. Uh, and it's been fun ever since. It's still kind of scary driving, kind of <laughs> weird. But, you know, it's fun. You've Way had it for fun. six years now. Six years. Wow, that's impressive. <laughs> um, so what's the, what's a, like a big, It's because you said it's kind of scary and it's yeah. funny because... A lot of people like trash on them because it's like, well, it's only like 160 horsepower <laughs> yeah. or whatever. But like, what did you find to be the most difficult position from the single cam to the B series? Uh, the RPM. I think having more RPM before it was Redline was at 5,200. 5, now it's at like 8,200. So that was more of a learning curve than being scary. Mm -hmm. I think what was scary was the torque, even though it, B16 has not a lot of torque. <laughs> But having that through a corner is just a crazy difference. Oh, absolutely, man. And and how much does it weigh? Uh, 2,000 pounds exactly it's... with a half tank of gas. Yeah. So you're like lighter than a Miata. So a I little can, bit, yeah. Yeah, I can see yeah. then why it's scary then. <laughs> yeah. Um, and also, so what, do you have any mods to the motor? We'll, we'll start off with motor and we'll go like chassis and handling and stuff like that. Uh, to the motor, nothing. It's just stock B16 with a, a exhaust, stock intake just with a drop-in filter that's it very nice what exhaust do you have on it so it's a plm big tube header to a blocks test pipe and then a spoon muffler nice do you have the because i know that sometimes you're a little loud for autocross events <laughs> is it yeah. um do you have the silencer so in? I, I don't have the silencer in i have it i don't even have it with me right now but usually cool. when i'm racing i do put the silencer very in. cool and uh what do you got for like suspension handling and tires so for suspension, uh, pretty much everything hard raced, hard raced camber kits, hard raced toe for the rear, uh, hard raced um, trailing arm bushings, hard raced and checkered sports rear LCAs, God, yeah, Godspeed coilovers, um, and then I have the Hone correction kit, roll center correction kit, front and center with the outer tie rods as well. And then uh, it's a DX, so came with no sway bars, upgraded sway bars, uh, Integra front sway bar, and then a 25 millimeter rear sway bar. So, Very nice. And what wheels we got? And then these are the new Group B wheels. Uh, they just came out this year. Those wheels, and then it's a staggered setup, reverse staggered setup. So 225, 45, no, 225, 50. In the front and then a 20550 in the rear just so for better rotation oh yeah yeah have you found that to be very really helpful for yeah. sure oh yeah yeah, yeah. yeah. I, I used to run a 20550 squared and going to this setup just changed the different changed very it nice. made it feel way better so. i um also how has it been because you know the ejs are a lot longer than the hatches like wheelbase wise um have you had to stiffen up the rear like pretty hard to get it to like actually rotate uh yeah a little bit more than I drove an EG hatch and it was weird how that felt so easy to drive and then swap into this. So I did do stiffen up the rear more, put the sway bar in a little higher so it's tighter just so that it does rotate more. And then same thing with the reverse staggered setup of a 225 in the front and a 205 in the rear. So just to help it that much more. Uh, absolutely, man. And uh, interior, since you have no interior, but that's a mod in itself, I guess. Yeah. So <laughs> what else is there in there? Interior. <laughs> pretty bare right now just a dash a seat that's it um just because it used to be my daily so it used to be like a daily track car and now it's like a full race car race car <laughs> yeah so it is just like checkered sports stuff throughout the interior just because i always like that stuff and i always had that stuff with it when i had full interior so i just put that all back back in and that's pretty much it i love the wheel because it's like it's not everyone has energy 
and I'm kind of trash on mine because I got energy too. <laughs> but uh, it's nice. It's refreshing to see something else. You know what yeah, I mean? Yeah. <laughs> For sure. And what's your shifter again? Uh, so the shifter is a fast line shifter with uh, innovative shift linkage mm -hmm. and then a checkered sports weighted knob. Nice. I have the innovation linkage too. I, I actually oh, really like it. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah, I actually really like it as well. How do you, have you got to try like this K-Tune shifters at all or anything? Uh, I had the K-Tune V1 shifter forever in the single cam and I, I liked it. I, I would go back to it. It's just kind of outdated now, I think. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> yeah. But like it's a breath of kind of like fresh air. Um, yeah, yeah. Seeing yours for mm -hmm. sure. And uh, the B series is so much tighter than the D series. It's oh, so yeah. sloppy for oh, sure. Yeah. Oh yeah. And uh, do you have an aftermarket radiator? I also think I, I do. See? So I have the uh, tucked radiator. I had the Speed Factory one, and I've had like four of them, but they all just kept leaking on me. So I oh, ended up sucks. switching to Koyo, and it's been fine ever since. So. Very nice, man. And uh, lastly, what do we got on, like on the exterior here? Did you, is this uh, paint wrap? What do we got here? So it's a wrap. It's it's fully wrapped. I learned how to wrap on it. This was the car I learned how to wrap. I've wrapped a couple other cars since, but other than that, I kind of stay away from it. Um, on the out, on the exterior, it's a charge speed front lip, uh, track life fender cutouts, uh, some vented hood. I don't know what brand it is, but it's there, and that's about it. Very cool, man. Um, and what color was it before you wrapped it in? Uh, it was Milano red. Oh, okay. So this was... color is Dragonfire red. It looks very nice, man. <laughs> um, and uh, w lastly, like, what do you? Um, not even lastly. What do we? What do you do with it? Like you said, it's more track car now and less daily because you got on the fit now. Yes. Um, what do you? Do you take you take it to autocross and, and other events? What, what do you do with it? Yeah. So, uh, this year really, <laughs> I've been going out to more track events. So I've been trying to go out further than Oregon, um, but mainly just local autocross and then racing at PIR in Portland. But I'd like to go out further, and that's why I'm just getting it set up and ready to go out there. Oh, yeah. What's your dream track? Like, you want to go to Willow Springs, or what do you want? <laughs> I'd probably want to go to Nürburgring. Oh, honestly. yeah. Yeah, me too. <laughs> yeah. That Absolutely. Would be the dream to like ship it over there and drive it oh yeah oh yeah me too man <laughs> and uh lastly here what do, what's your future plans for the car what do you got um, three so years future, future plans probably in the like far future couple of years from now i want to build uh like a full b series and get like above 200 horsepower in that and like completely build it to be reliable but able to handle more and take more abuse um and then in like the near future, I'm probably gonna put the interior back together and just leave it that way throughout winter, maybe going into next summer. Other than that, it's pretty much set how it is. I don't really think of anything else to change on it. Okay. Oh, we got a visitor. He's here now. <laughs> Showing his presence. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, and I don't know where he went. Okay. <laughs> Ah, uh, there he is. Hi, buddy. Um, and you obviously, you want to keep it in a, um, as we were talking beforehand on this. Um, do you plan on going, like, ITVs or anything crazy like that? Like, I'd I know like, personally, I love it, like, ITVs. I would like to, yes. Uh, I think just before I start building another motor, I want to put the B16 on ITVs and leave it that way for a while as I build that side motor and then see where that goes from there. Absolutely. If I keep the ITVs, that's cool. If not, it's whatever. Yeah, there's so much more to learn curve with those that yeah, it's really yeah. intimidating. And that price of injury is insane. <laughs> the sound? It's, it's kind of worth it. Like, <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> you know? Yeah. <laughs> well, man, um, I appreciate it greatly. It's beautiful. And um, I'm excited to actually feel an EJ again because it's been a while. So yeah. I appreciate it. And I'm going to put your Instagram on screen and in the description as well so people can check you out. And uh, thank you, man. Great, thank you. <laughs> well, boys, let's do this thing. This is full track car going on.
race car. This seat is amazing. It's gonna be a loud review. I'm probably not gonna talk too much. I won't be able to.
hiking, like for heel toe. I just have small ass so that that's probably one thing. That's the only complaint I have on this car. This seed is amazing. 